Today is April 18, 2016. This 16 year old Shetland came in because of complaint of vomiting yesterday. So it was one day after anesthetic and extraction of the left, left upper molar, left upper canine, which you can see a hole there. So we just keep it in for observation. Wait, uh, did it come shine the light again for me? Yeah, come. There. Oh. So the dog is kept for observation. Now we just see whether there's still the, a bit of running nose or not. The owner, there's a bit of running nose. Slightly, uh, but not as serious as before. The left nostril, you can see it's been quite quite okay. okay now we see the gun. This where the left upper canine teeth, the tooth has been extracted. Yeah. Hmm. Extracted and it's, the gums are very very uh, thin. Capillary refill time less than one second. So this 16 year old is still healthy and so why he vomited it could be after could be the medication given by the owner <laughs> and uh, that's the reason he might not be able to take uh, antibiotics so that's why he vomited but uh, overall he's okay and we are giving him some giving him an IV drip of glucose and amino acids and he'll be going back afterwards, yeah. He was on isoprofen and his teacher, so she not be do not be having any uh, serious anesthetic problems. The fire gets April 18, 2016, two days after extraction of Kanisa tooth. The left upper canine, the left upper canine tooth in a 16 year old shotgun. The dog was okay when he went home, but he came came back today, two days later, because of some vomiting. This is attributed to the owner feeding the, the, the medication, antibiotics, and heart medication as well. So we stop the medication and let the dog recover.